always taking action for you. But we begin tonight with what could be a new era for downtown Detroit, a brand new home for the Red Wings and an entertainment district. The $650 million plan unveiled today includes an 18,000 seat hockey arena, as well as retail, entertainment, and residential and parking. And that new home is going to be right near Comerica Park and Ford Field. Take a look. It is bordered by Temple to the north, I-75 to the south, Woodward to the east, and Clifford to the west. The economic impact is going to be huge, too. We are talking about 5,500 jobs for just the events center alone and 8,300 jobs for the commercial and residential sections. We do have Team 7 coverage for you tonight. Tom Lydon shows us how this new arena will close one chapter of history and begin anew, impacting every everything it touches, but we're going to begin tonight with 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich in Detroit. And Julie, a lot of people are very excited about this. They are, Carolyn, and it means a lot of dollar signs for people. I mean, right here next to the area that they usually use for parking where this will be built are condominiums, but there are also people, businesses that would have to be bought out in order for this to continue. Wow. Wow is right. Reno Russell will live right across the street from the proposed sports and entertainment district. I don't see it as a downside for the city at all. And the upside for him would be a jump in property value. He bought his condominium two and a half years ago. I hope so. <laughs> Uh, that's all I can say as I hope so. Depending on when they bought them, residents here say they either lost money or have recently been making money on them. They're going up and up and up, so I think they're going to continue to go up, and I think that would help. While they're making out by staying here, another group could be cashing in just to leave. Sitting within the area where a new home for the Red Wings would go is the Greater Detroit Transportation Company. They own about four blocks worth of businesses here, and their vice president says they're in talks to sell. The negatives we have heard residents around here mention is that they say it'll be a little bit more congested. And which side of the complex will they be facing? That's one thing I was kind of worried about. Are we going to be looking at the back of the stadium? Am I looking at the parking lot? What am I going to be looking at? But even that doesn't seem to be that bad. It's better than looking at what's there now. Oh, I think it'd be great. It's great for the city, and I like the action. I like being in the middle of it. And when I mentioned the Greater Detroit Transportation Company, what they owned around here, they say that even though they're in talks, there is no done deal just yet. All of this will be unfolding, of course, in the coming days, weeks, and months ahead. We're live from downtown Detroit. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Bottom line, it is, it, it, it is excitement for the city of Detroit. Thanks a lot, Julie. This, of course, means the end of an era.